A bacteria discovered at Montana State University is in the final stages of development as a biological treatment for plant diseases that could save farmers tens of millions of dollars. My interest in biological control comes from a long history of working with growers in the fields and seeing the problems they have. So in 1994, I went to Sydney, Montana, where they had a severe epidemic of Cercospora leaf spot going on. We directly isolated from plants that had very little disease from the leaves. The organism they isolated, Bacillus mycoides isolate J, or BMJ, boosts plants' own immunity to a variety of plant diseases. And as we worked uh, since 1994 on diseases on tomatoes and peppers, uh, pecan trees, uh, potatoes, uh, isolate J has always turned out to be one of the best. BMJ has been extensively researched and MSU holds a U.S. patent. We're on the cusp of bringing a very valuable disease control product to the forefront, to the marketplace, where people can actually use it and derive its benefits. That product would be a biological control farmers could spray on a variety of crops. Within minutes, the plant starts to react by producing hydrogen peroxide and some other things, and this thickens cell walls and makes it more difficult to infect. And then uh, within a day, it starts to produce uh, enzymes that actually start to attack the fungus or the bacteria. MSU first licensed the technology to Cliff Bradley of Montana Microbial Products in 2003 for commercial research. The technology was recently sub-licensed to Certus USA, a global leader in the manufacture of biological pesticides. Jacobson says the product will benefit commercial farmers worldwide, including Montana farmers of potatoes, sugar beets, and wheat, as well as backyard gardeners looking to reduce pesticide residue. The ability for potato growers to have another tool in limiting the spread and also the increase of virus diseases in their crops is extremely important. And this is really a tool that does not exist in the market today. This has some unique implications because it was a naturally occurring bacillus. It's never been modified. Uh, it should be labeled available for organic gardeners. Where we're going in agriculture is increased sustainability and certainly the, the use of a, a naturally occurring bacillus as a sustainable approach. That sustainability is what attracted Certus to BMJ's commercial potential. Certus has the expertise in EPA registration. They also have the expertise in and the distribution channels to get this product out once the EPA registration is complete. Certus USA plans to commercialize this technology worldwide for an expanded range of crops and diseases. Becky Mahurin says this is one of the most exciting technologies licensed by MSU.